Okay, so going through the keyword concordance, I am following the letters and pulling out words associated with that letter. Now the last one was um, flesh, so it is the letter F that I am looking for studies in. And um, of course I come across the word fruit and realize I didn't actually do a study on this word and there's a lot of good scripture involved. So I put together this, it's a small word study, it's not a huge one. I actually added a couple passages of scripture in Hebrews. But um, the word fruit, the Greek is karpos, with a K, K-R-O, K-R, K-A-R-P-O-S, sorry. Um, the concordant definition, the pulpy mass surrounding the seeds of various plants and trees. The concordant scripture references, <clears throat> 1 Corinthians 9, 7, who was warring at any time supplying his own rations, who was planting a vineyard and not eating of, the, of its fruit, or who was tending a flock and not eating of the milk of the flock. Romans 1, 13, now I do not want you to be ignorant, brethren, that often I proposed to come to you and was prevented hitherto that I should be having some fruit among you also, according as among the rest of the nations. Romans 15, 28. What then performing this, and sealing to them this fruit? I shall be coming away through you into Spain. Philippians 1, 22. Now if it is to be living in flesh, this to me means fruit from work, and what I shall be preferring I am not making known. Philippians 4, 17. Not that I am seeking for a gift, but I am seeking for fruit that is increasing for your account. Romans 6, 21 through 22. What fruit then had you then, of which you are now ashamed? For indeed the consummation of those things is death. Yet now, being freed from sin, yet enslaved to God, you have your fruit for holiness. Now the consummation is life, Phionian. Galatians 5, 22 and 23. This is a beautiful passage here. Now, the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, meekness, self-control. Against such things there is no law. Ephesians 5, 9. For the fruit of the light is in all goodness and righteousness and truth. Philippians 1, 11, Filled with the fruit of righteousness, that is through Jesus Christ, for the glory and laud of God. 2 Timothy 2.6, the toiling farmer must be the first to partake of its fruits. Hebrews 12.11, 12, now all discipline indeed for the present is not seeming to be a thing of joy, but of sorrow. Yet subsequently it is rendering the peaceable fruit of righteousness to those exercised through it. I had to add a couple in Hebrews, but this is the last one. Hebrews 13.15, through him, that then we may be offering up the sacrifice of praise to God continually. That is the fruit of lips of vowing his name.